Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ferdos Nipu. I am a first year medical student at Michigan State University, College of Osteopathic Medicine. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my first the results of my first medical school exam and kind of share with you guys what the structure of the exam was like, um, what we were tested on and how I prepare for it and kind of share my experience with you guys and let you guys know, you know what worked for me, what didn't. If that sounds interesting, then let's get into it. All right, guys. Before I show you the results of my first exam, I kind of want to talk about, just show you guys, you know, what the first semester, the fall semester of medical school looks like. Um, so here's all the classes that we have, medical immunology, osteopathic patient care, um, pharmacology, micro, and then molecular bio and medical genetics, that's one class, OMM, and the class that's specific to DO schools, and then cell bio and pathophys. So the way that we do not have individual exams for each classes rather we we have unit exams you know i think this varies from school to school but for our school we have unit exams and our first unit exam it covered micro molecular bio and then pathophys and we it's one exam with 75 questions but we get separate grades for each one so i just want to show you guys my results and show you how i did so for micro there were only 18 questions and i got 17 out of 18 94% and then for cell bio pathophys I got 29 out of 36 and then molecular bio or biogenetics I got 17 out of 21 so when you add it up overall it was a 63 out of 75 which is an 84% and honestly I'm happy with the score because for our school for especially for you know these classes you only need 70% to pass um, and I think that goes for a lot of medical schools where you just need a 70% 70 70 to pass each course. Now, with that being said, you know, I do not consider myself, you know, one of those top-notch A students. Rather, I would consider myself as a, you know, pretty average pre-med student. Even in undergrad, you know, I was always in that 3.5, 3.6 range. And, you know, one thing I learned very quickly is that in order to be successful in medical school you don't necessarily need to be extremely intelligent but rather you just need to learn how to work hard consistently so with that being said i want to show you guys how i prepared for this first unit exam now we're here on my ipad and if you look on the left hand side you'll see our microbio course pack for all of our classes we get a course pack that contains all the lecture material as well as each lecture specific objectives. So when I'm in when I'm in lecture, you know, I try to take notes as best as I can, try to pay attention and not fall asleep. Um, some days I will, you know, go to lecture, other days I'll just stream the lecture from home, and then other days I just slept in and then just kind of watch the um, pre-recorded lectures. But after I, you know, just go through the lecture once, then I go back and then focus on the objectives. Um, try to answer the objectives in a separate document and and then basically just create a study guide. Um, this study guide right here, I did not create it, but it was created by, you know, someone from a second year. But, you know, for all the objectives, we have a study guide and then just kind of, you know, look at the study guide, go through it once, and then before the exam, just do another review. Specifically for micro, um, one of the best resources I found, you know, I found was Sketchy Micro. So if you guys don't know what Sketchy is, basically it's a bunch of videos where they kind of tell a story and, you know, it's very useful and they kind of um, associate different things um, in different images. Like, for example, you see right here, um, it's about an Italian restaurant called Melasesia and, you know, a lot of different things going on. But every single object, every single detail in the image you know, gives you information about a disease, about a fungi, about, you know, a parasite, whatever it may be. And it's just one of the easiest way to, you know, memorize, you know, a ton of information. So um, for micro, I found, you know, Sketchy to be very helpful. Sketchy is, you know, most useful for um, micro, for farm, and now they have patho videos as well. Um, so yeah, you can see right here, you know, this is like the study guide that I kind of use. I, you know, added a lot of pictures. I took the sketchy videos and for each one, I added my own picture I and mean, I, I screenshot of the pictures um, and added my own little notes. And that's basically, you know, how, what I did when I solo studied. So for 
all of our exams, even in the summer semester, um, I would, you know, go try to go to lecture, go through the objectives, right? Uh, you know, read through the study guide. And then I met up with one of my friends and we would basically quiz each other, you know, a day or two before the exam. Now, one of the things that you'll learn in med school is that everyone studies very differently. What One thing that may work for someone else may not work for you. Um, and you just kind of have to, you know, try different things and find out what works for you. You know, personally, I actually do like group studying, but the maximum amount of people that I will, you know, study within a group is two other people. I find that what, you know, what if we have a total of four people, then it just becomes very inefficient. Um, however, for me, I like studying, you know, the material solo first and then meeting up with a friend, meeting up with two friends and then just kind of like quizzing each other. Um, and then, you know, once you start, you'll find out that there are tons of resources, right? Sketchy, Pathoma, Khan Academy, Boards and Beyond, First Aid, and so on. And really, it's a matter of just kind of like trying different things and finding out what works for you. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, you know, just um, that's basically what I've been doing so far for the summer semester and for this uh, first fall semester. You know, just pay attention in lecture, go through the objectives, um, you know, go through the study guide and then, you know, a couple of days before the exam, meet up with friends and they kind of quiz each other. And, you know, for the summer semester anatomy, it went very well. And, you know, I'm hoping that this fall semester I'm going to continue, you know, using these uh, same methods and hopefully it goes well. And that's about it. So if you guys found this video helpful, please, you know, leave a, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and of course, subscribe. And hopefully, you know, I will see you guys in the next video.